When you think of the word introvert, what comes to mind? Shy, lack of confidence, doesn't talk. All of those are myths. I'm Tina B and I want to break down this myth that introverts or people who define themselves as such uh, can be magnetic. First of all, it's interesting that the words introvert and extrovert have become really, really popular in our vernacular. In fact, I feel similar to social psychologist David Kiersey that it's really not as important as we make it out to be. As human beings, we do label and we find that we're more comfortable with these labels and we want people to understand us, to comprehend what we think, feel, and to be seen and be heard we feel categories are the way to do it. We have Myers-Briggs tests, Emergenetics, the Strengths Finder, all kinds of these different tools that give us more insight into who we are and who others are and how they're supposed to behave, communicate, and be. Well, I would like to really break down introvert. In terms of I remember actually riding in a plane and having a father talk to his daughter about her being extroverted because she's so loud. Well, I wanted to turn around in that moment and say, well, that's not necessarily true. I know introverts who have loud voices, who show up in big ways. It's really about your energy. How do you charge your batteries? And something I found when I wrote my book, Discovering Our Magnetic Speaker Within, that really I find more energy getting times inward, when I'm journaling, walking in nature, meditating with quiet so that I can show up in big ways. Now this has shocked my family and friends because I do have a pretty big personality, a big energy. Yet, I find charging my batteries requires alone time, not a bad thing. I really want us all to acknowledge that it's advocating for our needs as communicators. So knowing if you have a keynote, a workshop, a big meeting ahead, or an important conversation, if you need spaciousness, which I highly recommend we all take, you will then show up with a very strong magnetic mindset, you'll have a clearer message, and your dynamic mechanics of your vocal and physical delivery will be much more impactful. How do you do this? You do this by making transition time between meetings and noting that meetings are different than presentations and networking events. They all require different types of energies. So assess and journal what gives you energy, what depletes you, and then take the time to really, really take care of yourself. For me, for keynotes, I know that the day before and the day after, I really need space. I do not schedule major thinking, important meetings, uh, communication events, because I know that it's going to take all my effort to be in front of a big audience. Take care of yourself. So whether you define yourself as an introvert or extrovert, it's okay, it doesn't matter as much as how do you get your energy. Charge that battery and take care of yourself to be the most magnetic self that you are and deserve to be. I'd like to invite you for more tips and tools to my big house website, which is tinabakehouse.com. That's tinabakehouse.com for more blogs and information and videos. Till then, remember to be you and be true.